not that I like, screw you, I don't care if this works out or not, but I don't need this. I'm not anxious to make sure this happens. As we started to get to know each other, I was like, I want this to happen if we're in alignment on our values. Uh -huh. If we're not, then I, I wish you the best. Uh -huh. But I'm not gonna enter something if the values are not aligned for both of us, because then we're just gonna, it's gonna be too much friction. It's gonna be so hard work. It's not gonna be enjoyable for either of us. And therefore, in the dating process with Martha, there was never an inconsistency with her words and her actions uh -huh. based on her values. Yeah. So I was able to see words, actions, they Valid. matched. Yeah. And she was able to see that with me. Uh -huh. And that means we both had to be extremely communicative to each other. We both had to be courageous with each other on our wants, our needs, the things we don't like, and speak those things early on. Yeah. Uh, in risking someone, the other person not wanting to be with yeah. each other, right? And I think because we entered in that way, it feels healthier. Now, it doesn't mean like everything's going to be perfect and work out for, you know, the rest of our lives or whatever, but it feels like I can fully see who she is. Uh -huh. And if she did something, sure, it would be out of character that would be hurtful, but I'm also okay as well. Yeah. And, and also another side note here is like, I just, yeah, I mean, I, I love that you both share this <laughs> point because, of view because I agree. My headline is uh -huh. it's your fault, and I really yeah. stand by that. The person who was like, I, cheated on yeah, her. it. Well, you also see mm. that to finish the thought here is you yeah. also hear this when women go through a divorce, yeah, and you ask them this question on your wedding day when you're walking down the aisle, did you have a feeling that something was off? Most people would say something was off. Yeah. Some people might say, no, everything it's was perfect. It's the happiest perfect. day, yeah. It was perfect, and like I had no signs. Yeah. But it's like, were you really also asking the tough questions? That's, Maybe you were, Yeah. but did you ask all these different questions? Or did you just want to be with that person? And that's why I would but stand you, by I'm that. I'm not saying it's yeah. your fault that yeah. you got cheated you, on. I'm not saying that. <laughs> I have neither of you ever had a personal relationship, a friendship, yeah. or a business relationship that... that really caught you off guard Person. when someone didn't show up and you thought, God, that was a day where I really thought they'd show up for me and they didn't and yes. it really caught you off guard. I, that's never happened but, to me. So I've always known. Like, oh, there might have they been They were signs. Right, but that's there that, fine, there but it's incredible. But you have hope that wish they would But it's so wanted. lacking in self-compassion no, to go but straight his, to his, and his, therefore it's my fault. It's not meaning it's your fault if they don't show up for you. Yeah, but it's also for having the wrong expectations on the wrong, here's what I would say. I definitely stand by it's your fault in life with everything. Your weight is your fault. Your your, your, your income is your everything is your responsibility. I'm on, on the extreme. Thing. Those are yeah, different I things. Know, fault I, and responsibility are very I different understand, things. Yeah. But some people, so, you know, some people say it's your consequence, which is like a positive. It's or a negative. consequence it's of like choices. It's the consequence of right, but that choice. and even but in consequence, a, consequence doesn't it, it, to to connect all of that with fault is a. It's a strange connection I, to make in a I, lot of cases. Mm -hmm. Responsibility makes sense always. Mm -hmm. Wherever I am today, me taking responsibility yeah. for making yes. my life better always and forever makes sense. Mm -hmm. But I find the the tr worrying, spending this time worrying about where to point the finger mm -hmm. to be a quite unproductive and also completely devoid of self-compassion. And it is absolutely true that there are people who we may have seen on a lower level uh -huh. some inconsistency in their behavior or we may have seen some things that we didn't love. It is anyone who spends a lot of time in narcissistic relationships yes. Yes. will tell you that the ways that someone was able to shock them uh -huh. on when things really hit the fan yeah. could the, the there wasn't some steady trajectory to like low level yeah. grievances to I had cancer and they wouldn't drive me to the hospital. Yeah. No one know until they're they're in that place, mm -hmm. no one knows who that I, person I is going to be. I disagree with that. And I would highly disagree with that because very few people who maintain promises then don't show up when you're in the hospital for cancer. So when I'm go my husband, one of the reasons why I'm so attached and why I selected is because I never experienced a cancelled date. I never experienced late. It was never a case where he'd say, I'm coming at three, he'd come at five. Never. And I remember there would never be a cancelled date. So when you're dealing with that person and then I went into hospital for cancer and he didn't turn up, then I can honestly say, 
well, this may not be my fault, or oh, there's been such a change in his character that I haven't paid attention to. Maybe recently he has been breaking promises, but this is just the final one that I paid attention to. So I would still take onus on that. The reason why I think self-compassion should be replaced with self-responsibility is being compassionate with yourself will allow you to think that you are a victim to other people who are just terrible. But when you realize that selection is more important in, in determining your outcomes than any other fact you'll be more cautious of selection. I am truly shocked <laughs> to hear you say that self-compassion isn't the answer. No, I don't believe that. I'm sh that sh I find what, that is, what is your shocking. definition of self-responsibility versus self-compassion? I think self-compassion is forgiving yourself for your mistakes, but not ignoring you made the mistakes. So what I mean by self-compassion, it's my fault. Everything in life is my fault. I might think Respons that mentality. You make, you but I forgive myself. Or fault. I mean, but I forgive myself. Is that? But the other alternative is it's not my fault. It's all them, and I'm. I just need to fix sure, myself. Sure. Okay, I forgive okay, let's myself. Just take this, yeah. it, it, you have to believe that there are situations that people are in that are not their fault. I, I do. You, I, I can't imagine that you would say. Uh, teenager who goes through abuse it's their fault i would i would say that look outside of your your parents and your siblings most people are self selection and of course your environment can help that with that selection as well but the uh, well, okay let's take yeah. the adult that goes through um, uh, abuse that they couldn't have seen coming yeah. that's their fault uh, can you give me an example is it like a parent that's abusing them no, a partner. Relationship. A relationship. relationship. But, uh, uh, here, someone they're, they're on date three with. Here's the thing. The the gun that's holding you to that relationship is your own self-esteem. It's no, but no you one's don't, pointing but the, a gun. You don't know that they've done anything. The, the idea that everyone always, always and forever indicates uh -huh. that they are something nasty uh -huh. is a kind of... Um, it's a, It feels really naive to me because there are such talented liars out there. Mm -hmm. And oh. there are some truly talented narcissists who know how to create a, an impression of who they are and the way they show up in your world. Uh -huh. It's, I but don't, I'm not, but listen, I, I'm not saying that there aren't many, many situations where yeah. if we were really paying attention, we'd see discrepancies in what yeah. someone's telling us yeah. and what the actions are. Right, right. Of course, yeah, yeah. of yeah. course. We get, we get love bombed, but we don't see that. Yeah. But there's plenty of situations where you couldn't, you could not have seen coming just how badly someone betrayed you or just, it's like saying, you know, someone who forgot to pay me back a hundred bucks for dinner last week when they said they would. Mm -hmm. Um, 